I'm ready to write some code and get to it. Let's do that voodoo that we do. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's do this. Um, first. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember what I was going to do. MJ, we created a, a, a project on stream a few weeks ago called Parathon. I don't remember what it did. But we were using um, <clears throat> one of our sponsors this quarter is JS Defender. Shout out to JS Defender, oh by the way. Uh, King Kingly, thank you for the follow. Good to have you with us. Feel free to join the Discord. They they allow us to obfuscate and protect our JavaScript code. As a matter of fact, um, let's see. Somebody shared that link. Let me let me go to one of them. Check this check this jam out. I don't want to see this. I want to see their online demo. Check out this online demo. Uh, matter of fact, if you see that link in chat, click on that link, let them know how much you appreciate them sponsoring the stream. Uh, by just clicking, there's no sign up. You can try the demo out yourself. They put, they put in some, some sample code here that if we run it, it'll just say the answer is 42. But here are all the, like the little ways you can protect it. You can say only let it run on a certain domain. Uh, when you protect it, reorder the functions and randomize where you put them. Um, all, all kinds of stuff. Only make it accessible during certain dates. This self-defending, you can't do it in the demo. I'll show you what it does. You hit protect and it spits out this freak show of JavaScript over here. Look at that. The whole point is to like, look, if somebody gets your JavaScript, they can, they can figure it out. But the point is to make it hard enough that they don't even want to try. They just rather go attack somebody else. Uh, look at this. The code has been tampered. Oh, that's pretty cool. So like if you mess with this code, it won't run. It'll throw up an error that, or a console log an error that says the code has been tampered. You mess with it. It must be doing some kind of hashing or something to do that. But so what we did was we wanted to play with it and we created this little project called Parathon, which is one of our uh, moderators names. And we added comfy JS so that it would listen to our chat, right? There's an index file here. So if I go in there and I say NPM, uh, is there a start command? We've got a start and a defend. Okay. So let's go NPM start and it should just run the code, just the straight JavaScript. Yeah, love Insta, uh, Insta fluff. Uh, is it connected? It says it's connected. But I don't see it doing anything. Let's turn it. Do that. Do that again. Don't need to npm install me. npm i. Um, npm start. Connected to chat. Somebody, let's see. Send us. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. So it's working. So every time you send a chat message, it puts you know the person who said the message and what they said. It just logs that to the console. That's all it does. It's a very simple application. There's nothing fancy about it. We just wanted some sample JavaScript to play with. Yeah, so we initialize connecting to chat and then on chat, console log the user and their message. And it works like a champ. Yep, there's that little emote uh, text representation, I guess. So that works. So I'm gonna stop it from running. And we added this npm command defend. This says JS Defender with this configuration, right? So I'm gonna go npm run defend. <clears throat> it didn't work when we were working on it like two weeks ago. We never could get it to work. Turns out uh, this joker was using the wrong uh, license key because I'm a professional and I, I, I'm I not. So I contacted him after the stream and said, listen, I'm getting this weird error that has to do with the license, but, but this is my license. And they're like, mm. Here, here's your license, buddy. <laughs> Bless it. Bless it, little fella. Here's your license. And uh, yeah, let's see if it works. Spoiler alert, I've already tried it. It works. Yeah, so we weren't getting any of that. It was, it was like totally not doing it earlier. And that created this protected folder 
with this. So this is that same JavaScript. Look at that. That is so stinking ugly. Is there a setting in here to like wrap the words? Appearance? No. Editor layout? Two columns, blah, 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 blah. No, no. Toggle word wrap. There we go. Like a pretty print plugin. I, I don't want it to be pretty. It's not going to be pretty. Because look what it sends back out. That's some ugly mess. But can you imagine trying to... You look at JavaScript and it has this. Versus you look at JavaScript and it has this ragamarrow. You don't want to necessarily do this to all your files, but I could totally, let's see, CD protected. Uh, node, I, I don't even know what it's called. What was it called? It's just index, node index.js. Let's see if it works. Well, it probably won't. Well, no, no, it should, it should. Okay, look, it looks like it's working. Try a chat message. Yeah, Radu, good to see you. Screen strats here. Yeah. Look at that. It works like a champ. Even though it's awful ugly. I don't think I would do that to every file. Like if I was building an Angular app or Vue or React or whatever, I don't think I would do that to every page. But if there's a page where I'm like, you know, this is our secret sauce here. You know, I don't, I don't necessarily want people just seeing how we do it easily. It's not that they can't break into it and figure it out, but I want to make it harder. Like, hopefully, like if you're writing software for like an insurance company or a bank, you're like, listen, there's there's limits. They're going to have the JavaScript. There's limits. But maybe I want to say it's so hard to get this bank's stuff that I would just rather go look at this bank's. You know, just, just enough work, right? Just enough to make them not interested. And I really want to try some other commands with that because we didn't, what the heck did I just type? I don't know what I did there. I want to see, because there's some other settings. Ooh, I can't show that config though, can I? Because it has my license key in it. It's got several options. Let me, I want to go look at the documentation maybe. Oh, wait, wait, before we do that, let's just try start. What happens? I don't think I told it. Just open it in Notepad. What if I add, um, like there's a break with a semicolon. What about console.log? What? Save. Error. The code has been tampered. It won't even run the code if you make a change to it. Oh, that's right, because, okay, so you, uh, let me hit, let me hit enter a few times so you can't see my license key. But in the config, I said self-defending is true. That actually makes it, no, don't save that. That makes it where if you tamper with the JavaScript, it won't even run. How would it do that? Do you think it like hashes it or something? Like it's got to do some kind of hash to know this is how much code was there to begin with. This is how much after. Because all I did was add that console log what? What if I take that out and hit save? Now it runs. Test. Works like a champ. How? What? There's got to be some... It's not the kind of alien tech, but could be some hashes, checksum. Yeah, yeah. It's got to be some kind of hash or checksum that it's it's comparing. Like right there. Like that's just, you know, console log. That should all, I mean, that, there's nothing wrong with that. That's, that's valid JavaScript, right? If I stop this, run it again, throws up. It did say what several times, but it says error, the code has been tampered and shuts it down. It won't actually run the code, but it, it threw out that what a few times. <laughs> that makes no sense. So this isn't minification, it's bigification. It's obfuscation is what it is, Luke. 
Uh, it's just obfuscating to like the nth degree. It's not to make it smaller. That's why I would say I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't add this to everything, right? And now it works. No, I think it, I think it, it goes to like, you know, it's like spinal tap, Luke. It's like you got minification. Okay, dial that. But this is like, you know, spinal tap saying we're going to dial it up to 11. Because it does more than just like obfuscation. Like just looking at that demo, and we already did the self defending, but you can say it can only run on a certain domain. Um, it can only run after a certain date or until a certain date. Um, randomly reorder the functions, randomly, this Boolean literal, literal replacement, that's some kind of voodoo. Like instead of saying, like, if, you know, some object, right? That was probably like not good, but some object. It might say, um, this is a terrible example, but like constant, um, blah, 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 blah. Or no, 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 constant y equals, you know, some number is less than that. Uh, you know, it might have something like that in there. So it like replaces the Boolean literals with something else that still equates to a Boolean of the same va It's It's witchcraft, I tell you. It's witchcraft. Oh, but there's a way. I guess I'm a bot that Michael uses for commands. Paranoid, you, you kind of are. You kind of are. You, you, you run the commands so well. What if we say index, let's create another file and say um, on chat.js and let's copy that and put it in here and say constant on chat equals that. Is that an arrow function? Yeah. And then module.exports equals on chat, I guess. And then over here say require on chat. Would that work? I don't know if that would work or not. Let me uh, stop this. Uh, back it up, npm start. Would that run? It acts like it would, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that works, okay. So what if I just said I wanted this to be obfuscated? I just don't, I don't want, you know, I've got some secret sauce in how I console log that. I don't want people to know that. Is there a way to do that? Is there a way? Uh, I'm going to go back to it. Darn it. Uh, support, maybe? Yes, Defender. Where's the documentation? Where's the documentation? Uh, do, 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 do. configuration file format. Uh, those are inputs. Hmm. Multiple files. File one says this. File two says this. Uh, if users can understand file one on current working. Do, 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 do. After in just defender, file one looks like this. File two looks like this. Isn't there a way to like specify don't do this file? Inline configuration. What if I don't want it to do it, or I only want it to do it? There's a bunch. Yeah, so you can tell it, like, just do this file. I 
you like do it heavily or medium. That's interesting. But yeah, there are ways to like tell it, like only do one, one file. Anyway, that's cool. We were playing with that last time and uh, that's a long message, Radu. A long time ago when I was playing with VC++, I did use some obfuscation even for the binary, so it would be harder to get to the resource to debug, to reverse engineer the stupid app I was doing. I think it was called PE protection or something similar, but yeah, with the web and JS, you need some kind of obfuscation. Yeah, uh, if it's, it was it was probably something like Dofuscator because that they they include Dofuscator with Visual Studio, um, like a certain kind of license with it. I think you have to like if you want like souped up style, you have to do something more. But yeah, that's really cool. I, I was wanting to see if I could get it working with that app, and we done did the 